Hi guys, uh, welcome to another video. Today uh, I'll be showing you how to stitch uh, panoramic photos uh, with uh, Affinity Photo on your Hubson Xeno Mini Pro's uh, panoramic footage and also DJI Mini if you would like to do it manually. So uh, I'm here, uh, I'm going into my uh, network attach storage. I have my DJI, uh, sorry, Hubson Xeno uh, files here. So I'll select the uh, JPEG file. The raw file couldn't be accessed at the moment. So we have to go with the JPEG first. Uh, same goes to we will also do the same with the DJI Mini later on. Okay. Uh, once I've select Stitch, I can I can go inside the the page. So the render will be pretty quick under my iPad. So I'm doing all this in my iPad. And uh, here you see that there's. Uh, let's check if there's any. Uh, stitching error we will correct that uh, I see that there's a line here uh, let's uh, double check if uh, the line is actually some stitching error and also we have to check over here just to make sure there's no stitching issue uh, with the automatic stitching so I select the tools here I'm just checking so the line over there is uh, not really any issue so we'll skip that so we will, I'm not doing an in-depth on how to use Affinity Photo, I'm just uh, running through just for you to see uh, the image quality uh, of the Hubson Xeno Mini Pro and also DJI Mini 2. So we are here at the pen tool, uh, let me do some selection here. So you could actually uh, use the default um, color correction or color profile but I find that all of this color profile is just like not very nice so I might tune it later on but for now uh, we're just uh, tinkering around this uh, this application because I'm also quite new to this application even though I've uh, used it for about a week now so so next we'll go with the DJI Mini 2 footage. So I've taken both uh, JPEG and RAW, but uh, for comparison purpose, I'll just use the JPEG file. And also when processing a JPEG file is uh, much faster as compared to a RAW file in my iPad. So I've selected uh, nine photos. Um, for Hubson Xeno Mini Pro, there's only four photos taken on a horizontal mode. Uh, horizontal panorama mode but uh, for DJI Mini uh, you you take nine photos so actually in fact you have a uh, much more resolution uh, by in theory but because the megapixel count on the Hubson Xeno is much more than the DJI Mini 2 so you will see that the uh, image quality later on the file size should be much bigger on the Hubson and um, here we, I'm checking on the uh, if there's any stitching error. Also, you notice that the uh, horizon is like curved. On the DJI Mini Mini app, if you uh, stitch it, if you allow DJI to stitch it for you, uh, it is like straight. So, just for your knowledge, that um, I'm not very professional in doing this, so. I'll just uh, quickly go through. I'm, I'm not able to make it like what they did in the DJI Fly app. So I'll maybe show you a photo of that later on on the DJI Fly app. So uh, I'm just checking on the uh, camera information. This is from the DJI Mini 2. I couldn't see any information on the Hubson Xeno. Maybe there's a uh, missing data over there or that the uh, data cannot be read by affinity photo by the app itself so I find that this application is much uh, I think this is a paid app and um, is one of the cheapest that you can find uh, if you compare to Photoshop so if you're serious into getting a panoramic photo from for a beginner I think this is a good uh, good try with this application it costs about $20 I think it worth every penny so we will see 
okay now we are trying to save the file uh, I'll save it in JPEG and you look at the file size here I'll save it under here or just rename it so that uh, I'll extract it later on to show you the raw footage so I'm not processed I have not processed the color on this so you can see both of these uh, resolution the uh, Hubson is on the right and the left is the DJI Mini so you can see that uh, I'm trying to save the file on the Hubson Xeno so it's about 10 megabyte much more than the one in uh, DJI Mini 2 so you notice that the color is like too, ex too much exposed because there is no ND filter with uh, this uh, bigger aperture you I just can't control much on the camera yet for the Hubson Xeno Mini Pro and I'm shooting in automatic all this while so I'll just keep it original because we are just doing a comparison so this is uh, unprocessed uh, footage where later on I'll also process it with uh, a bit of exposure tuning and a bit shadow and just adding a, a default loud uh, by the app itself okay okay uh, so this is the uh, DJI Fly app process image you can see the horizon is uh, straight and uh, the image is uh, much wider than if you process it by yourself and uh, finally uh, this is a side comparison between uh, what uh, the unprocessed and the processed uh, image so I do hope you enjoy watching this video um, do uh, provide your comments down below and I uh, hope you enjoy your day goodbye